Hey guys, we're OSMVDXReviews.com. We're in the middle of our head-mounted display and uh, personal uh, video glasses review week where we basically cover a lot of different popular uh, glasses and head-mounted displays like the Sony HMZ series, like the, uh, the uh, MyView video glasses, or uh, what's coming up, we'll be reviewing some more devices such as the Oculus Rift, as well as uh, other more generic video glasses that are quite fun to watch movies on. They basically provide you with a pair of glasses that you put on your head, and they fool you into thinking you're watching a movie on a theater-like experience. It's private, it's immersive, but it is quite expensive. Now, we did think uh, it would be quite interesting to also review something more in the kidified category, so we found that in the Spy Gear Island Communicator series, which retails for around $80, and at that price point for a toy, it is quite expensive, but not so much for a cool and interesting piece of gadgetry. Now, what this device promises to do is act like a walkie-talkie, except a, t a text version of a walkie-talkie. Up to 200 feet, you can communicate via walls and through walls, and uh, in your house with two people, it comes in a set in the box, and you wear a headset, which allows you to read uh, text messages sent back and forth via a armband that also dubs as a QWERTY keyboard. So it's quite interesting. It's kind of like the Google Glass where you can read the, those messages and they're semi-transparent. It's a um, monocular sized view, which means you can only get that from one eye instead of two eyes, but it still is quite interesting. So the packaging is quite nicely done. Again, the premise of having a spy-like experience is quite uh, attractive, but um, unfortunately during testing we f didn't find this to be as good as ad advertisements are telling it to be, or as fun perhaps, but uh, it still works fairly well. And again, pretty interesting to take a look at, especially in this week. Um, there you go, you can take a look at uh, some more advertisements for how the device fits into your head. It looks like this, and th that's the area where you can read the LCD display, which is backlit, so you can read it even in darker environments, and it's semi-transparent, so you can even see uh, directly in front of you, so it's not entirely, uh, you know, blocking your view. It's a scrolling message, so you can even see it uh, repeatedly, and you can save messages as well. The keyboard, and there you go. It runs on AA batteries, so it is easy to interchange when those batteries run out. So taking open the lid, we can see that we have the first unit like so. These actually are a lot bulkier than what I expected from um, the uh, packaging, what it looks like. These are quite large, and to be honest, especially as something designed for kids, I don't think it's that suitable, especially because uh, the device, again, does have that, this huge, bulky, QWERTY keyboard piece uh, actually contains the batteries underneath the hood. Luckily, the batteries for this thing last for around a, uh, a few years, actually, before you're willing to interchange them, so that's a, the good news. But the bad news is, again, that it is quite bulky. The keyboard is also, you know, although it's risen above the surface and easy to type on, it's very grippy. It's not very tactile. It's, um, gel-like. It's not like a real keyboard that you might use on a computer or on a smartphone, so that's a downside as well. You can wear this or also take the earpiece off like we've done. You can see that uh, it shows up like so, and this is the piece where it's semi-transparent. Um, again, you can see through this earpiece and uh, see what's going on. That's your outside world. You get a little bit of an insight there, very similar to the Google Glass series. Let's take off the light and show you a few messages. So if I type something, I can hopefully see what's going on. There you go. It's a little bit difficult to see. Again, it's not as easy to see, but you can see R, and I can go space, and basically it types messages back and forth in this format. It's better than what's being showing up on camera for some reason, but and then I can send these uh, back and forth, and someone can send them back to me, and it would scroll back and forth, and it is easier to read than, again, what's showing up on camera, but there you go. That's basically your view, and uh, looking out, you can still see an outside view on the side. So a very interesting toy and very interesting premise. It did work. Um, I found that 200 feet with a little bit of a stretch. We can only really go up to 100 feet before communication sometimes faltered. And again, our biggest disappointment for these are the fact that the, the bulkiness of the units themselves and the fact that the screens can only display a few characters. But overall, an interesting toy and uh, just something interesting to take note of. Thanks for watching here at OSMBTXReviews.com.